Hi and welcome to Parallax Scroll created using Lua and I've also used Corona Simulator as the generator. So what I will do next is just to show you guys how I have put this together. As you can see there's uh, some building at the back and there's uh, some buildings right at the front. There's supposed to be a road at the middle. So let me just show you what you guys are seeing how I put that together. But right at the back is a cloud or sky. Should I call it sky? Yeah, that's fine. That's a sky. So let's go into Corona right now. I'm going to close this and start a new one entirely. Okay, guys, we're back to Corona right now. So I'm going to go to File new project and it's going to be blank right there so I will call this let's call this parallax parallax scroll to or maybe or parallax scroller yeah and I'll save this on my desktop right there there and the next thing I'll do is instead of uh, let's change the orientation to sideways so click on OK and uh, please just before that make sure you select blank there and that is it those are the files generated by corona simulator and right here i have the main double click on that there as you can see there is nothing right there and if i click on my simulator look at my simulator right there that's my simulator you can see it's blank nothing is happening the next thing I would do is just to copy and paste some images there. Right click and let me paste the images I intend to use. There I have my background and building one. That will be building two and building four. Let me just click on building four so that you guys see how the images look like. That's the those are the images I intend to use and here is the other images I created using flash okay so it's not that great but uh, that would do close that now let's go back into main so back in main I really don't need this so I might as well just delete it if you look at my simulator right here, there's nothing there even when I save this and come back in here and relaunch, there's nothing but take a look at this uh, status bar, uh, let me did get rid of those, I don't really need it, so that's my status bar there, so those are the lines of code, okay, you can see display dot set, status bar, display dot hidden state uh, status bar so just that single line of code will get rid of the status bar let me show you what i'm talking about there they are so i've saved that so i will now relaunch it okay that's my status bar right now the next thing i will do is uh, let me add my background to the, the system and there I have the background. I've just called this sky background. So let's save that. Come back to my simulator right there. Then relaunch. And there. As you can see the status bar is now there. That's my background. Okay. Let me now add the buildings. So to add the buildings. Let's come down here. Enter and... There we go. You can see I have declared local variable. The variable is called tower1 equals display.new image and that's the name of my image that I intend to call. 
and just to show you guys the image that's the image I'm calling right there so let's minimize that so save the file open up corona relaunch there that's the image you can see it's sort of like upside down so let's take care of that so we will take care of that by setting the let me just set the x and y value let's come down in here and enter as follows so tower dot x equals zero and y is 320 so let me save that now relaunch my corona right there click and there we have the building in the right or on the right position okay let me enter my second building so with with the second building let me just copy this paste this right there and change my variable I'm going to change that to 2 that's 2 2 ok let's change the coordinate of that to 480 save come in here relaunch that looks that's the second building ok this first building is at the back so if I maybe comment this out you guys will see it properly and that is how to comment in lower so let's let me show it to you that's it if I run it now that's the first building and the second building let's take it. get rid of the comments save okay the second building is that's it that's what you see okay now I need to create another building that'll be the third one let's come in here or the third blocks of the block of flat or whatever you want to call it that's uh, the third one there that's the third one and this time I'll change this very coordinate here to 480 and save save that so if I launch it again, this is how the whole scene will look like. If you notice, those are the block of flat right here underneath here. This will be scrolling faster than both buildings right at the back. In fact, I'll add the speed to the buildings at the back. Maybe make that like one and this one make that uh, two. But to get it looking properly maybe I should just add one more building let's come down here at that and change the variable of this one to four four and four and the building that I actually want here is building number four because it's sort of like completely different from building one and building two let me show it to you guys that's building number four this is building two that's building two and here building number four I just want it to look a little bit a little bit different okay minimize that so with building number four in place I will change the coordinate let's change the coordinate to 480 by 400 there okay all right the next thing is to sort of like give give this whole image the parallax effect and to do that we need to set as follows tower one right here let's add some speed to it dot speed let's say that is one and i will repeat the same thing to tower number two make that one as well sorry tower two tower three okay let's make that yeah you know make it three tower number four make that three as well 
but nothing will happen now let me run it and show you nothing will happen because I now need I'm going to have to write a couple of uh, functions and uh, also call an action list now to make it work so first of all let's take care of the function and right underneath here let me enter my function there. so come down in here okay right here I enter the following function you can see function scroll tower equals self right there you can see the the parentheses have self event self dot x axis okay make that less than 200 and x axis equals 480 else this is going to be what will happen to the x axis so if i run it still nothing you guys will see nothing and the reason why you're not going to see anything right now is because i have to the system have to listen to all of this so let's get that sorted as well so we now are the following event listener there they are tower one dots enter frame equals scroll I'm asking it to scroll okay then uh, runtime add event listener all right the same thing is repeated to tower two three and four those are the variables that I've used so if I save it now let's save let's show you guys the code again so those are the lines of codes from up here scroll down so that you see the rest of it there so if I save and run it let's come here relaunch and that is how you create your own parallax scroll that's it guys so with that I'll just call it the end of this program but just before I go let me show you guys the codes again take it from the top right here up to here and take it down those are the lines of code for parallax scrolling I'll show you the scrolling again there and with that I'm gonna say you all have a nice day now